what is going on guys, your boy says Witch here, bring us out of Photoshop to how to make your own 2D clean banners, I believe this is episode 3 of the kind of little series I'm going on with little 2D banners, I just enjoy just giving you guys a little more tips and stuff, a little enhancing, basically enhancing your 2D banner skills, uh, obviously mine can still use a little upgrading, I'm just going to keep on learning them myself and also teach you guys along the way, one of my best features of my channel is always teach you guys what I learned, so anyways, uh, this is kind of like a little setup I have here, we're going to actually have a nice clean borders, I'm actually trying to do it a nice clean way if you don't actually do them without, you know, lowering fills and, you know, opacity. If you don't know the difference between them, you will after the end of this video. I'm going to show you how to pop out this little white text a little bit more with, like, some gradient, you know, overlays and, you know, drop shadows and all that cool stuff. And you also see in the background here, I have a nice pattern here. I'm actually going to give this away in my description below. Go ahead and download it right away. I actually made this little simple line pattern uh, can, you can use. Uh, you also use any, like, Plexus images or whatever in Google or try to find some, uh, some cool stocks that are using patterns. I enjoy using patterns, you know, if you ever know Faze Neekin, he uses uh, uh, Plexus, you know, images and stuff and stocks to use his little, create his little 2D banners or Twitter, all that cool stuff. Anyways, you can always replace things, it's always eligible. So anyways, we're going to get going to this, I said like anyways like five times already, so we're going to hide this really quickly. And we're going to use a nice dark orange, we're going to make a nice new layer above the uh, backing of the color right here. We're going to use the brush and change our primary color to white, and if we hold control and oh, we're going to make a nice bigger... Uh, if you're obviously holding control and all and moving your mouse left or right actually makes the uh, diameter bigger or smaller depending which way you go. I'm going to make it a nice diameter, a nice big circle right here. We're going to make a nice one brush hit, go to filter, noise, add noise, and change the noise amount to three. What that does is give a nice little gradient all, along with actually uh, adding noise. It'll put, actually put a texture on the little white burst of whiteness here. Um, anyways, go to blend mode, go to soft light, and change the opacity from 100 to about 65 and the is gonna get a nice little simple really nice gradient actually a really good backing for any type of illustrators out there you want to actually put their illustrations on banners really nice simple banner uh, backing here for your illustrations as well keep that in mind so here I'm gonna actually add my pattern now I'm gonna drag that right in here like so and we're just gonna center it a little bit more I'm gonna put this blend mode on the pattern on soft light uh, if you ever want to like use this pattern over like over and over again, actually not have to drag it in every time, you actually go to f uh, edit, uh, define pattern, name it. Obviously, you're gonna have to hide everything else. You probably want to do this in a new layer, uh, maybe the PSD layer itself. Make it a new pattern. You can always just use it over and over again without actually, obviously, just taking the PSD and dragging it. So we're gonna cancel that really quickly. Uh, we're gonna change the uh, uh, opacity from this nice pattern to about nine. Blend a nice little simple blending right here. This looks, this looks freaking good so far. So we're going to actually use our text now. And we're going to actually click right here. I'm going to change this really quickly before we continue. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to change my font size to about 48. I'm using Typograph Pro with extra bold. I'm going to use the word example here uh, like I did before. Check. And I'm going to actually put this font in the description below if you guys don't have it. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's stock with all the computers. But uh, here we go. I'm going to actually hold and drag. I'm going to put something like kind of a description of what my channel or obviously this is like a channel art or a social media art or whatever. Kind of put this banner on. Kind of want to have an example or a little dis short description or sentence of what it's all about. So I'm just going to put, I'm just going to put, you know, if I if I was using for me, I'll put like graphic designer. Uh, I'm just going to put home of example or something. If you're a sniper, maybe like sniping commentator or something. Simple as that, you know, simple things like that. Uh, make this font size 11. We're going to change this from extra bold to semi bold. Press so actually not press okay. If we actually highlight everything that we have now, press control T, this little table comes up. Uh, we actually change the spreading of the letters itself by just changing the VA, putting it a little more up, like so. Maybe about 560. Maybe even more, a little more. I guess that works. And like so, drag it up. And we have a simple example and home of example. It's really good and clean so far. We're going to actually now just double click on this. And we're going to go to stroke. We're going to change the stroke size from 1. Change this uh, color to the darkest shade of, uh, obviously I'm using orange, if you use any other color, just change the darkest shade of the color, click on it, press OK, that's done. I'm going to go to drop shadow now, we're going to uncheck global light, and go to distance, and change this distance from about 2, change your spread to about 6, and your size to about 8, I believe, and I'll give a nice little, well, basically a nice orange outline pop to it. We're going to change the gradient overlay, put this on a nice simple black to white overlay. Change the opacity, and then maybe just change the uh, drop shadows opacity down a little bit as well. Mm, 35, I believe, and we're just gonna press OK. So what that is is kind of like pop out this little white text, you know, just kind of like make it pop out a little bit more. We're gonna right click on examples. Uh, we're just gonna go to right click, 
copy layer style and put on the other text we have here and there we go so now we're gonna actually finish it off with the border outlines like I said before uh, so far it's looking really nice and clean I'm just gonna make a new layer really quickly and go to here I'm gonna actually bring my rulers out really quickly if you don't have your rulers you press ctrl R bring them out they'll be nice and cool numbers on the side and top just drag oop, not the, the whole thing you can actually just drag the uh, these little numbers right here just click somewhere along them you can actually drag these little rulers a ruler will pop up see this nice little blue line you can actually double click on it actually change the color of the line if you didn't know that uh, it's just how to use rulers I'm pretty sure you guys all know how to use that by now so anyways we're gonna use the pen tool make a cool border kind of like a oop, don't want to curve it cool border I put this in the middle and uh, if we hold shift the lines will be straight and kind of like finish it off with the same as I think the other side and on the new layer gonna right click fill path uh, drop down black press ok and just delete the pattern just by right click delete path zoom back in again and if we actually lower the fill now if we lower the fill all the way to zero this will allow whatever is on the layer to be perfectly you know uh, unvisible and actually allow the effects to actually be super visible and actually 100 percent opacity uh, if you lower the opacity all the way to zero and you lower uh, keep the fill at 100 you won't be able to see anything so if you put the obviously the opacity back to 100 and lower the fill you actually be able to see the effects and not the image itself or the black border that we actually have hiding behind it so if we double click on this and we go to stroke and we just change the stroke size from three to one and change this, uh, the strokes color to white press ok and if we go to drop shadow now and go to the distance we change this distance from about two and we change the spread to about six or so and we're gonna change the size to I don't know really uh, I like seven so we're gonna like actually lower the opacity a little bit to about 65 or so and after we do that we should go to our gradient overlay uh, whatever if you want to have the orange to be a darker shade you can actually just keep the, the black to white or if you want to have more of a lighter shade double click on the black make it gray I like to have a lighter shade press ok and we're gonna actually change the blend mode to soft light on the gradient overlay and we're actually gonna keep it 100% actually we can just lower it to about maybe 75 or so and then press ok uh, actually, to go back, I can go back on it really quickly. To save this exact preset, if you go to Styles right here, go to New Style and save whatever you want to save it. Press OK, and then once you press OK, it'll be actually saved. It'll be the last style you have in this little Styles like little table right here. All these little cool presets. Make your own. It'll be the last one. Press OK again. So the next border you do, you can just simply just click the same exact style. I'm just gonna make a. I'm just gonna make another quick border. I'm not gonna make it the same like you know thing here. I probably should when I'm doing it. I'm just gonna just save time really quickly. Make a nice straight one right click fill path black delete path hide this and we're just going to double click on this and if we go to styles like i said the last one will be the newest one you made uh the only difference we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to change the gradient overlays uh angle and along with the dark sh uh dark shadow drop shadow uh because it's actually pointing up and down since the first one was pointing down go back to our gradient overlay just basically change it all to negative negative 90 go to drop shadow now and change this to negative 90 as well and I'm actually make it the same thing as before. Make sure you uncheck use global light. Almost did I forget to say that on both of them. Make sure you uncheck use global light on the drop shadow. Almost forgot to say that. Oh lordy, no. Make sure I go back here and just change the angle like so. Okay. And uh, what that would do is obviously just keep your you know drop shadows from actually you know using the same exact you know basically the same exact lighting. Uh, make sure you uncheck that so the lighting will actually stay the same. Uh, all you gotta do is just change the angle of the uh, drop shadows and gradient overlays, and you're actually basically done. Uh, just make sure you actually uncheck use global light, like I said before, on your drop shadows so they don't mix up with each other. And just save, just, just freaking completely forgot to tell you that. But anyways, actually, you can make a new layer now on your brush, a nice little white brush. Completely fill the banner with white, and go to filter, go to noise, add noise, change the amount to 3 to about 7. Press OK, change your blood, uh, blend mode to soft light, and your opacity down to about 50 or so, kind of make it a little more lighter. And what I'll actually do is put a nice little simple, really nice, you know, clean, but not too visible kind of a pattern on it uh, because we added noise. And then you're basically done. So hopefully you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, always follow me on Twitter at SysoHQ. You can ask me questions, tweet me some cool, you know, tutorial ideas. And hopefully you guys really enjoy this little 2D banner tutorial. And, you know, just keep on enhancing your skills and doing your cool things. Like I said, you can always uh, replace things. Like I have this little pattern right here. You can also put, you know, stocks, like I said, a uh, plexic stock or something cool. 
Just keep that in mind. Hope you guys like the video. Uh, 200 likes in the video equals the secret giveaway below in the description. Don't forget about that. And I'll talk to you guys later. Subscribe.